travelers have to say. For most Western Massachusetts air travelers, Bradley is probably their most convenient airport, but some dra some travelers will drive a little farther to take advantage of lower airfares at other regional airports. Taking off from Bradley International Airport will cost you more than other airports in the region. The average round-trip ticket rose more than 9% since the same time last year. And fares at Bradley are nearly $25 more than the national average, according to the U.S. Bureau of Transportation Statistics. Belchertown resident Chris Dion chose to fly into Providence, even though flying to Bradley would have been much closer. Figuring uh, the fuel prices from here to there, uh, you're really not losing a whole lot of money rather than paying $125 extra for the convenience of flying in closer to home. But cheaper airfare isn't always the deciding factor of which airport to choose. It was just convenient. Burlington, Connecticut was just up the street, so uh, it's, you know, easy, easy for us. Another thing people factor in is parking, and rates are generally cheaper at Bradley than other larger airports. The airports, however, don't control the price of airfare. The airlines do. The director of communications for Bradley thinks part of the reason is due to who's traveling out of the airport. We have about a 50-50 uh, breakdown of business versus leisure travelers as opposed to other regional airports uh, where the, the number of leisure travelers is higher. The average price for a round-trip ticket at Bradley is nearly $400. Kennedy in New York is only a few dollars less, while LaGuardia and Logan are both about $30 less and that's the price some aren't willing to pay. Uh, I'm flying out the end of this month out of LaGuardia because I got a good deal from there instead of from here. And Bradley may have the highest rates in the region, but they're 32nd in the nation. Live in Springfield, Chin and Halligan, 22 News.